this is my idea with indie media, right? I have an idea that this is just one part of it. So the idea is progressive federation, and this is just a part of it. And I, this is something I would love the indie media to unite all sides of the spectrum to do this. We have a website, Progressive Federation, where anyone can sign up who wants to run for any district or anything like that. The question is, how do we vet them, right? So we had Colin Allred, who I made the case study recently, that was a total, turned out to be a fake justice Democrat. He was not, he was for Medicare for all in the primary, and then as soon as he won, he dropped it like a bad habit. So I'm thinking- Sounds like he was a real justice Democrat. He, oh, he, oh, oh, you said he was already? Oh, okay. Let's, oh, wow. Oh, that's, that sounds like wow. another conversation for wow. another day. But, wow. But I think, all right, so. Uh, <laughs> Mic drop. He threw, he threw me off with the whole, my whole train of thought with that one. But, um, yeah, so basically I want, how, how many um people are in Congress? I think it's 435, I believe. Yeah, something Including like that. Including Senate, something like that, right? So we want people to run, but. We, we don't have enough independent media structure to have, if Nico, 435 people wanted to interview with Nico, how, how you know, you, you have to do two interviews a day, you know, you, that's not happening. So what, I'm thinking this site, what you would do, you would apply for the site, then you have, make your own website, make your own campaign paraphernalia so people know that you're serious. So you gotta spend a little bit of money yourself or raise a little bit of money so people know you're serious. And then two, create a YouTube channel. Why? We would have a list of questions for you that you would have to go through those, that vetting list. It's going to be called the People's Gauntlet. And you go through, are you for Medicare for All? Are you for Universal Child Care? I want you not only, just don't just say um, Medicare for All, yes. Universal, no. I want to hear you passionately speak about Universal, about Medicare for All and That's true. the benefits of it. Because I want you to convince me that you are convinced yourself that Medicare for All is the policy that the United States should be taking up. Um, Gabe, I saw you real quick. Joe, you want to jump in real quick? I was just, I, I was just nodding. I think it, it, it's, it's incredible to get people on record making the argument for, whereas you, you just said, you said, oh, you, you can say, yes, I'm for Medicare for All, and then mm-hmm. you get on stage and, and, and you can't defend it properly because you really don't believe in it. Versus exactly. Having a yes. Record. I think that's an incredible idea that we, you, you get people making the real true arguments. It's, it's, uh, it's cheaper overall when you look at what we spend right now. You're going to get better health outcomes because the mm-hmm. U.S. has some of the worst health outcomes. You're going to uh, lower our average mortality rate, which is not, which is not top in the world. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to help. All of, all, all of these issues, and you can make that argument coherently. Same thing with free college, not free college, taxpayer funded college, uh, K through 16 or pre K through 16. And all these issues, one by one, um, the pro argument. And then being you able- also create a record, mm-hmm. you also exactly. create a record, right? So, like, whenever so Tulsi did this, uh, and then others started doing this too. Tulsi created a YouTube channel, but what that allowed her to do is correct the record oftentimes when, where she wouldn't get that space on debate. So, what is essentially proposing with like okay cool we don't even have to hit the debate stage keep me off of it but i have a youtube channel where i could just share all this stuff that i've been talking about consistently for the last five years before i ran for this major draw where have you been on this issue and if you're as passionate on progressive issues as i am mm. uh, why weren't you on why weren't you letting people know as constantly as i am why are we not running the alarm on this every day and it puts it does people put people in precarious predicaments because like y'all said there's some people who pretend like they're for some of these policies and then you sit them down and try to like grill them on it. Cause I want to know you can fight for it when you get to that position. Oh man, they don't know what, they don't know what to do. Whenever you make the art, what about the military budget? You're going to want to leave us defenseless. They have no idea what to say next. But if you're passionate about this, you just, you, you've done so much research. You talked about this so much that it shouldn't need it. You should need to write down a speech. You should just know why it's so important. So here's the other part of it, because um, I was watching the Humanist Report, and he was talking about a uh, somebody that he interviewed early on as they were running, and then later on, he interviewed another progressive in that same district. That's yeah, see, so he said that that other person, he said right now, their Twitter is dark, their website is dark, basically saying that this other person that he was currently interviewing has gone a lot further. So that's the thing. When, when you, you don't have time to interview people who are just want to be interviewed and then they fall off the map, you know, three, six mm-hmm. months later. 
Jimmy Dore, he, he, I heard him say one time that he somebody asked him to be interviewed on his show, and he said, okay, where's your website? Couldn't find the man's website. How are you a serious candidate when you don't even have a website? So that's, that's the second part to my idea, that you have to create your website, create your YouTube channel. We got to vet you, uh, so or, or you would be vetted by your video, and then people... Um, on the lower tier, like my, you know, we're just starting out and there's a lot of other YouTubers starting out. You go interview with them. We'll see how you do. And if you do a good job, you get a certain amount of points. And now you get interviewed by Nico. If if Nico yeah. likes you, you do a good job. Okay. Now you get interviewed by Kyle or you get interviewed by TYT, who has yeah. a bigger yeah, platform you get, and you can you raise money. <laughs> yeah. So what you guys think about that? Love it. One of my biggest pet peeves is politician websites, campaign websites that don't have an issues page.